A common problem when building a WordPress site is being able to customize certain theme elements, like headers, footers, and sidebars. All these elements require custom code in order to edit the styling. Introducing the Customization panel, integrated into the Themeify framework, you can access this panel when using any one of our Themeify themes, allowing you to edit various theme elements. For this tutorial video, we're going to showcase the various features and how easily you can use the Customization panel with just a few clicks. Let's get started. Let's start by first showing you how to access the customization panel on your site. You can do this in three different ways. First, go to your dashboard. Hover over the Themeify theme you are using. Then click on the Customize option. The second way of doing this is by going to your dashboard again. Hover over the Appearance option, then click on the Customize option. Third, and probably the easiest way to do it, is on the front end. Go to any page in your site and then click on the Customize button on the top admin bar. This will automatically redirect you to the customization panel. You'll see two different options. Basic and Advanced. The Basic tab gives you less options, but will allow you to load the option panel much faster as it won't need to load all the other options. So if you're doing something simple, we recommend choosing the Basic tab. The Advanced tab, on the other hand, gives you all the options. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing more on this so that we can cover more cool features and also showcase the various options that comes with the customization panel. Once you're in the customization panel, you'll see a bunch of different expandable options. Expanding each will show you how many elements you're able to edit. The cool thing about this is that you can see a live preview of all your edits. Before we jump into these options, let's have a quick overview of the customization panel. Scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see the following options. Custom CSS. This is specifically for people who know some code and would like to add their own custom CSS. This dropdown has an input field allowing you to add your own code. Clear all. Click this to reset all the changes you've done. So know that everything you've done can be reverted back to the default with this option. Import and Export This feature allows you to import or export the edits you've done. This is great if you'd like to save a backup or transfer the edits you've done on another site URL. Responsive Styling You can also edit how your site will look on mobile or tablet. You can do this by toggling the responsive styling icons at the bottom here. I'll talk more about this near the end. Hide controls. Finally, you can also hide the controls by clicking on this. This will allow you to get a full view of your entire site without having to look at the sidebar option panel. You can expand it again by clicking on the arrow icon. Now let's get started. I'm going to start by customizing the body of my site. To do this, I'm going to go to the body option and then expand the body background option. Then on the background color, I'm going to change it to whatever color I'd like. So I'm probably going to set it to this light gray color. After that, I want to also change the body font, which will also be applied across all the text on the body of my site. So I'm going to choose one of these fonts. I'll choose this one and then set the font size to say about 20 pixel. Now that I'm finished with the body, I want to move on and change the header of my site. To do this, I'll need to scroll down to the header dropdown option. And what I'd like to do first is to change the background. Now I have a bunch of different options here, so I can choose to set the background color to any color that I like. So for example, black or I can have a background image instead. I like this background image from my header, so I'll keep it. 
and I'm just going to set it to full cover to make it look better. Now I'm also going to set my header font color to white. And then I'm going to change my header link color to white as well. That way, both my header font color and my header link stand out more. Let's move on to the menu. I want to also customize how this looks. To do this, I'll just need to scroll down and expand the menu navigation. And on the menu link option panel, you'll see various options to customize your menu font as you like. For this example, I'm going to keep it the way it is, but I'm going to add some margin to make it stand out more. Then for the padding, I'm going to uncheck the apply to all padding and add custom padding for each side. So for the top and bottom padding, I'm going to add 5 pixel. And then for the left and right, I'm going to probably add around 20 pixel. Now for the background color, I'm going to add a white background so that it'll stand out even more with my background image. And then for my font color, I'm going to set it to black. Now let's have some more fun with this. What I can do in addition to changing the font is also change the hover effect. To do this, I'm going to go to my menu link hover. And then for the background color, I'm going to add a color, say purple. And then I'm going to change the font color to white. Now we'll see on the live preview when I hover, it'll have a purple background and white font when I hover over the link. Now directly underneath this option is the mobile menu option panel. Expanding the mobile menu option, you'll see how the preview automatically switches to how your menu will look like when viewed on mobile. What I'll do is change the background color to purple, then set the menu link to white. Then I'll change the menu link hover to yellow. Now within the customization panel, you'll also find the mobile styling option. This is very useful because it'll allow you to customize not only how it looks on desktop, but also how it looks on mobile. Let me show you how. At the very bottom, click on the mobile icon. This will change the preview to show how it'll look on mobile. Now whatever changes you make, it'll only apply when your site is viewed on mobile. The default will be what you've set on desktop. So what I'll do is change my body background color back to white. And then I'll reduce the body font size to 16 pixel so that it'll look better when viewed on mobile. The final step is to make sure to click Publish. Doing so will save all the changes that I've made. Now to be extra cautious, what I'll also do is export all the changes I've done. That way, if I want to upload the customizations I've done on another site, or if I for some reason lose all my data, I can have this as my backup. To do this, go to the Export button and download the file to your computer. Now if you accidentally clear everything that you've done, you can import the downloaded export data back to your site. Now when I preview my site, you'll see all the edits I've done on both desktop and on mobile. And that's how you use the Themify customization panel. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. For more tutorial videos, visit our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe, like, or leave a comment down below.